Chef Zebla with the hams. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Zedlow's Kitchen. Zedlow's in the house. And Nina's here too for a change. You know what? What? Today, I feel a little bite in the air. So, this is the perfect day to make some homemade chicken soup. What you thinking, Zud? Yeah. Chicken soup? What, you make a mess on my floor? Yeah, I did. Okay. So, I'm a little chilly right now. Too, it's too soon to turn the heat on because it's going to get back up to 70 by the weekend, they say. But there is a chill in the air and it's kind of damp because it was raining, even though the sun came out now. But I think we're going to do some homemade chicken soup. Um, okay. Mr. Zudlow over there is getting the chicken ready to boil. We're going to boil the chicken first. Yes. And get it nice and tender. Um, you can put whatever you want in the soup. We're going to do some carrots, some celery, <clears throat> an onion. And my mom always, for some reason, I don't know why, and it always tasted good, she used to put a potato in there with the soup while it was cooking. And then she used to um, strain out the onion and the potato. She put a, I'm going to do it. I'm going to peel a potato. She used to put a whole potato in there. And then <clears throat> she used to take the potato and the onion out and put it on the side. And then if you wanted a little piece of potato or some onion with your soup, you just put it back in there and it'll be nice and warm and toasty. What you thinking? Is that a good, a good idea? Sure. Okay, I'm going to peel the potato. Okay. Well, you uh, season the chicken to put in the pan. Oh, let me grab an onion. Alright. I'm going to move this. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to take some garlic salt. Already? Already. Some garlic salt. Some garlic powder. I'm going to use uh, a couple can of see? Can they see that? No, they no can't see. move it closer. We're going to do, I mean, further. We're gonna, I'm going to just do like two red potatoes. How's that? That's fine. Okay. I just. Two red potatoes. Oh, and forgot to mention this. You can't see it, but we have um, a homemade loaf of bread in the bread maker making too. So we'll have some nice warm hot chicken soup and some nice mm, warm bread with butter. Alright, so I did some garlic salt, garlic powder, onion powder, pepper. I'm going to do some basil, and some thyme. Oh, I got all the thyme I need. Okay. Do you no. have oregano? Excuse me? Do you have oregano? Oh, we should. It might not be out there. It might be in the cabinet. But, yes, we have oregano. What's this? Hold on. What's this? Oh, okay. And some oregano. Stove. Or thought I was going to turn on the stove. Yeah. Alright, so I'm peeling a potato here. Garbage men are here, sorry. Today is garbage day. Okay. Ooh, look at that chicken. Seasoned deliciously. Now, do you wait to, to boil this, then put it in, or do you put it in? Um, you. Whichever, because it's got to it's got to cook. So you can put it in now and okay. boil it, because you know some of the seasoning is probably going to come off. But you'll still have the water, because you you want to boil your chicken first, because you know the chicken kind of makes that scummy stuff, and you don't want that in your soup. So what we have to do is skim it, skim it good, skim it good, 
and then shred it, and it'll be delicious in the soup. You could also use a rotisserie chicken. Yes, and you won't have to boil your own chicken. You could use a rotisserie chicken and just pull it apart and put it in the soup, but we're going to do everything homemade since I know <laughs> one other time we did everything, you know, we cheated and used store-bought in there, but... I'm sure if you want to call it cheating. Okay, potatoes are washed. Little nipply. It's a little nipply out there. Okay, so I got two celery stalks here. Do you want more than two? Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. And, and your coffee is there Can too, just there? to let you know. Coffee time. Always coffee time. Always time for coffee. I don't know. We got the onion. Our bread smells delicious. I got taters. You tell me. Okay. Let's cut this out. How do you want this cut? Do you want it in like chunks or do you want it in just like this? It, yeah, how do you want little it? Little halves. That's what I do. Okay, little halves. Yeah, and then, do you want them thin? It's up to you. Okay, well then, well how do you make your soup? Let's go with that. Oh, I just, yeah, I just like slice them up. Well, what do you do? Do you cook the vegetables first? Or do you let it No, just... I let it go in the oh. soup. Oh, I cook the vegetables. Oh, well if you'd like, what, how do you cook them? In another pan? No, so what I do is I would get this. Okay. This is our soup pan. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you put a little oil. Okay. You put your vegetables, let them saute, and then you build your uh, broth, and then you let it sit. Oh, we could do that. However you do it. You're the cook. You're the chef. Oil's in the thingy over there. Are we? We're not using this, are we? Oh no, you don't have to use that. Our little basket. See how nifty that is. So you want them, not this thin. You make them how you want. If you want them smaller, okay, I'm just cutting them like, like this, but you could make little chunks, you know, if you want them smaller, cut them in half and have little chunks. It's, it's totally up to you. That's to your, you know. Um, you're liking how you like it. What do you mean by little chunks? Okay, so you take that and then you would cut it in half and you'd have little ones. Oh. You know what I mean? And then like the ends here. Or you could do it like this. So we're using about a tablespoon of oil. And do this. You can, or you can have little dices. It's up to you how you want it. As long as you get everything in one bite. True, true. I personally like the littler pieces. Why? Because you don't like celery? Oh, in my soup I do, yeah. I like celery. Okay. What, uh, and you want me to do two? Yeah. Okay. So that one. Do done. little pieces. Do little pieces. Well, however you like it. It's your soup, too. Well, I already made soup. Oh, I didn't know that. Chicken soup? Yeah. Oh. Well, maybe if someone would watch my channel, then maybe they would know. I do, but you know what? In a while. Don't you need two onions? Oh, you want another one? Yeah, go grab another one. I'll well, another one what are you there. doing with this? Okay, you put it in there. Okay. And you're not going to chop it up? No. After? Yes. If you want it, yes, we could do it after. Or do you want one chopped up 
Is, oh, I always put one chopped up in the. Oh, soup. okay. Well, then then you don't need another one. That'll give it the flavor. My mom didn't chop it. Oh. Grandma didn't chop it. She didn't chop it. Mm -mm. So you put in in the pan a tablespoon of oil, two mm -hmm. tablespoons of oil. Uh, even with this, it still moves. Yeah. Yeah, a tablespoon of oil so we can cook the celery, the carrots, I guess not the onions since she's throwing them in the broth. Oh no, I'll cut it up like you said. The potatoes, no, just throw it in the, in the once all of this is sauteed, I guess. Oops, that's it, cut your name off. And you know, you can always make your soup ahead of time, freeze it. Um, you can make extra, so you have it for the week. You know, are you going to cut some of them? Yeah, I'm just going to stand here. Did you hear that? <laughs> I don't use these kinds of carrots. What kind do you use? I use the big ones. I asked you in the store. You're going to use these for something else too, so. Well. He's bullying me, guys. Not even. <laughs> bully, bully, bully. All right. And you just want those chopped in the circle? Well, that's. However you want them chopped. You want them chopped into circles, you want to chop them in half and make them smaller so they're like kind of dicey. However you want to do it. And, and again, when you're cooking at home, you do it how you want to do it. As long as you follow the recipe. <laughs> you don't have to follow the recipe. You make it your way. Yeah, make it your way. You know what I do is I take big carrots. Mm -hmm. I peel. And then I take one side and I shape it, stack them up, and I chop them into squares. Oh, thin squares. Interesting. Very interesting. Because then they just kind of soften up and melt into the soup. Okay. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah, it's a little chilly out today. So, soup will be perfect. Yeah, and then we're gonna. Maybe I'll make that video myself. Depends. Gonna make a chicken tenderloin. Yeah, that sounds good. No, maybe you might need help, so maybe I should be here for that one. Mm -hmm. Well, you're gonna need help rolling it. And. What he's talking about this chicken tender one is gonna stuff it, so stuff it. Okay, we're almost done with the celery. Decent size. Yeah, they're pretty decent. They're looking good, looking good. Everything so far is looking good. I hope so, we're just chopping. I'm sorry, I'm not quick like the actual chefs who could just go ch -ch 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 and be done. It's the roll of your knife. Yeah, well. Just a roll of poly, I'm not a roll of a knife. You want more carrots? Well, you kind of want to make it even with the celery, so... Do you? Do you want to make it even with the celery? Well, don't you? Don't you? I don't know. Yeah, do a couple more. Okay. Did you wash these? Did you? So, I'm going to just put... How did this piece of this get in my thing? Okay, I'm just going to put this in here. That way we can just throw it in the pan. Voila, look at that. Just like this. Are you throwing this in here too? Sure, if it's all going into the pan, might as well. 
Okay, now I'm going to ask you a big favor. Do you want okay. more carrots? No, that's fine. All right. Okay, but big favor. What? You're going to chop the onion, cause I'm going to admit I don't know how to cut an onion. You don't know how to cut an onion? Nope, not correctly. I okay. mangle it, so I'll let you cut the onion. All right. Okay. Well, first off, never cut off the root end. Even when you're going to use it? Yes. Okay. See? First mistake. Can you guys see that? Okay. Because you cut it in half, mm -hmm. and with the root end still attached, it doesn't fall apart. Oh. And then what you do is you, you're supposed to slice it just before you hit the root end. Okay. Okay. Now some, now some people do this, others don't. Make chunks. Mm -hmm. And then you just... Oh. Sometimes I just get out my little dicer and put it over there. There you go. Cool. Okay. I didn't know that. See? How to cut an onion. 101. All these years you haven't done how to mm -mm. cut an onion. Oof. That's a strong onion. I can smell it. Ooh, yeah. They say you're supposed to keep a glass of water near you so this stuff doesn't... Oh, I've heard so many different things. Freeze the onion, put the onion in the freezer. Uh, Did you just say uh, Now you're saying put a glass of water. They say you're supposed to stick out your tongue and cut it. Oh, right. see, I never heard that one. Okay, so the onion is all nice and cut. Yeah, something, it up. something about like the water vapors. And really? It's to attract the water vapors or something? I don't know. And your the closest thing is your eyes, your eye okay. things. So eyeballs, teardrops. That's what I wanted to say. So yeah, uh, but that's it. Now we're gonna go ahead and cook these. Let me just dump that big thing in here. Yeah. Yes. So, have it on medium heat. I'm just gonna let this warm up. As you can see, our chicken is doing well. It's not so what you do is you put it in here. Yeah, let's let's test it. Oh, I hear sizzle. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just dump this in. Okay. Like that. <laughs> kind of move it around. You want them like translucent? Yeah. A little, a little bit soft. Alright, so we're going to add. So, what I would do is once they're a little bit soft, then I would dump the potato in there. What do you think? Okay. You want me to cut the potato? If you want. That's fine. Uh, unless you want to keep them whole. Whatever works. Because we're not, you're just going to take them out anyway, right? Yeah. Just leave them whole. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to take salt. Actual salt. Put that in there. Don't make it too salty because this is going to make it salty too. But if you put a potato in there, it's going to. Hopefully. And with pepper. Pepper is here. I'm gonna do a little bit of a little bit of pepper. Okay. Mix that in. Mm, smelling good. I love the smell of onion cooking. Don't we all? Alright. Onions, garlic. Love the smell of that cooking. Let's just throw a little bit of onion powder in here. You don't have to. But we don't want like garlic powder. We want flavor. Now when you what I do is when you let these soften and whatnot. Because I usually use a rotisserie chicken. 
just gives it more flavor. What I do is once these are softened, I add the chicken in to kind of crisp up the chicken. And then that's when I add my broth and all that stuff. So here it is. Get a move on here. There's the chicken. How is it doing? Doing good. Doing good. We're going to shred the chicken. Yep. We're going to try the chicken to see if it needs more seasoning. Then we're going to shred it. And then we're going to add it to our soup. Beef stock. Not beef stock. Chicken, chicken stock. stock. Be uh, Chicken stock. Stock? <laughs> chicken stock. Chicken He's broth. He's stocking that chicken? No. He's stocking the chicken. So. But yeah, that's it. Oh, and, and usually when you... Um, boil the chicken. It really doesn't take too, too long. You don't want to make it rubbery. You right. want to make it because it's still going to simmer in the soup. You want it just to where you could shred it, then you put it in the soup because it's still going to cook in the soup. Exactly. I said they call this misenplassen, right? Is that how they say it? I don't know how they say mise en place? it. Yeah. So you have your onions, your carrots, your celery. Oh my God, it's smelling really good. And besides that, it's warming up the house. We also, we got egg noodles. Yes. You don't have to use egg noodles. We you use whatever noodles you want. We thought about using orzo. Oh, orzo will taste very good with chicken soup. Um, you know, another thing too, don't want the orzo, you can actually do rice. do rice, which is very good with chicken soup. And actually, I would like to try one day to make cream of chicken with rice soup. Ooh. So, put that on our list. All right. Maybe we should make chicken gnocchi soup. Mm. I love gnocchi. So we're just going to let this cook and we'll be back. That is the word of the day. Dissolve. What does it mean? Comment below. Below what? So stupid me. Stirred it. So get another spoon. I can see that it's not enough. So. I am. Yeah. Stir. Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna actually use this chip so we don't. Let's see, I have my nifty can opener. Wow, look at that. Well, that's when you know old people like me. Sometimes it's hard to turn the can opener. Although I do have an electric one. Yeah. Because somebody I know bought it for me because they thought I was old and needed it. Oh. You? Oh, that's what that does. Yeah, that's the bird beak. Bird, bleh. bird beak. Oh, bird beak. Do you want to throw it in here and then we'll taste sure. it? Sure. Okay. Dump it in here. Oh. Okay. Now mix it up and let's see where we're at. Because we can still add some more of that if it's. You taste? What do you think? I think it's fine. Okay. Can you grab me a spoon? I think it tastes exactly like chicken noodle soup. I don't think it's that salty. I think it has flavor. Yeah, pretty good. Um, do we put it in the pot? Yeah, let's go. This weekend. Ooh. We could taste it again. And if we need more. So we took our chicken out. Now we're gonna shred it. Oh, 
shred it. Shred it. Look at how easy that is. How do you... What? Go faster. No. Press the button. Doggy. Look at that. Saves you all that work. With two forks. Threading it over and over. All right, let's try this. You want to try this? Sure. All right, let's see if it needs anything. Let's see if it needs more seasoning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it does. Taste it. I'm sure that some of the seasoning came off in them. Alright. I'm gonna do some garlic mm. salt. Nice and tender though. It is. Mm -hmm. Nice and tender. We're gonna do some oregano and thyme leaves. Just how we seasoned it before. I like doing this because it almost tastes like a like a rotisserie chicken, you know? Okay. Oh, yeah. We're going to add in garlic powder and onion powder. Okay, and then just a tad bit of, a tad bit of our garlic pepper seasoning. Just a tad bit. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. You know what we forgot? What? We forgot to make a cocktail. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. So, you know, life is always better with a cocktail, but I'll just have coffee. This is what we're going to start doing now. We're going to start making cocktails. Cocktails, yeah. That'll be good. Especially for me since I don't drink. Okay, try it now. Try it now. Gonna mix it a little more. Just give me a little piece. Mmm. Oh, much better. Mmm. Mm. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. That's oh. got flavor. It's got flavor. That's got flavor. It's a flavor bomb. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna dump this in the soup. Dump it in, and then we have to see if we have to add water. All right, so let's uh, zhuzh on this way. All right, and, and, and try and get it all in there instead of all over the. Oh God, I just cleaned. Zhuzh it. You can zhuzh up your chicken soup however you want to zhuzh. Oh my gosh, that Can you was... hold the bowl? Sure. Could be easy that way. Mm. Ooh, that looks so good. Ooh, yum. Ow. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's okay. But you're pushing the bowl. <laughs> How many people does it take to empty chicken from a bowl? Get it and then get it. Ooh, that looks so good. Mm. So good and so good for you. Right. You know, before you before you go from the viewers, yes. you know, if you just a thought, you know, I know we're taking the time to make homemade chicken soup and that, but you could make it even if you work. You can put it in the crock pot. Crock pot. Yes. You can put it in a slow cooker in the morning. Put everything in there but your noodles, is what I would say. And then 
when you come home from work, shred the chicken, throw the noodles in, and you've got homemade chicken soup. Or, I mean, if you want to be easier, you could even buy the shredded chicken from the store. This is true. Buy the shredded chicken, throw it in there. I wouldn't put the noodles in in the morning. No. I would do the noodles at the last minute, but you could even do that, and you'll still have homemade chicken soup, and it'll still be better than stuff from the can. So that's another thought. So you could do it in the morning. When you come home, you'll have some nice hot soup. Yep. Just I a thought. Just a thought. Thoughts with Nina. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to let that cook. Uh, we're going to let it simmer. For until we, until we're ready, ready to, to put the noodles in. Yeah. So we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah, we almost didn't have any noodles. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, what? A big day. Oh. All right. As you see... We're adding the noodle. Um, okay, maybe not all of it. No. All right. I think we added half the bag, if anything. Okay. How's it looking? We did add some more broth to it. Twist. We added more broth twist because. Because <laughs> it wasn't brothy enough. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna let this. We're just gonna wait till the noodles get soft. I have fancy dishes for soup. I've been waiting to use these. They are from Temptations, QVC. These are Doodle Doo. They have little chickens on there. And inside there's a chicken. And then they come with little covers. Okay. So, look at that. But you could use the cover for other things. Like you could put something else in there. So my thought was to take our slice of bread and put it on top put it on top and you can carry it to the table just wow. like that and you won't make a mess wow i cut some of our bread um it's looking real good it smells real good but i think next time we're going to try something different because it seems like all the garlic garlic onion onion landed at the top and i think it's because we um didn't put it in as it was mixing. We should have put it in after we put all the other ingredients in. And then I think it would have been good. I'm sure it's good anyway. How's those noodles coming? Good. Are they done? Let me taste one. And normally, if you're having guests over in that, um, I would take the soup I would pour it in a nice fancy bowl, but it's just the three of us, so we're going to just dish it out right from the pot. It's done. It's good to go? Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to dish? Dish some out. And then we will show you what it looks like, and then we're going to taste. So that's what it looks like. Ooh. No, you can't even see it. Here, put it down. Let's see. Oh, you had it right there. Look at that. Oh, it smells good. Okay. It's for. Okay, let me get some cheese. We have freshly grated. Parmesan. Real cheese. Be a real cheese. Not that fake crap you buy in the store in the green can. Now look. I've put the lid on. Look how nice and easy it is for me to carry over. All right. Got your bowl for you. Don't you like the, the juice? Yeah. I like that. Don't you like a piece of bread with sure. butter? Of course. That's why we made it. All right. More. I know. More. Chill out, dude. More. More is not always better. When it comes to food, it is. It's fine. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, my thank you. Where's my spoon? Oh, he needs pepper. He's the pepper man. 
Okay, let's okay, you ready? Okay. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow, that's good. Mm. That is good. That's delicious. Mm. Wow. You get the oregano, the thyme. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Broth isn't that salty now either. Now this is chicken soup. The chicken is nice. Put a little cheese. Oh yeah, I forgot the cheese. You know what we need to try? What? French onion soup. Oh, I good. like French onion soup. All right. Can we have our bread? Mmm. Even though there's not, it doesn't look like there's seasoning there, you could taste the garlic, garlic, and the onion, onion. Oh yeah, you could taste the flavor. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious. And there you have it. Dinner on a chilly day. Yep. On a windy, chilly day. Yep. So, just remember, be the best that you can be every single day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful day. And we'll see you next time on Zuplo's Kitchen. Bye! That's it! That's it.